I don't know what this is. Am I live or am I Memorex? Oh, okay. Hold on one second, you guys. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of start it early, let people get in here and go from there. So Dustin, hi, Tammy, Disney Connection in the house, Michelle, Logan Kerber. Hi, honey. How are you, my friend? Can you give me a thumbs up, Logan? I hear you're getting married. Julia, hello. David, hey. Commercial flashbacks. Wait, what? Oh, yes, exactly, Amy. Logan, what's G-U-D? Is that like good? Oh, my gosh. Clinton, you're here. Hi, Clinton. Thank you. Um, so, Logan, you're not getting married? That's not the, the word on the streets. No, just kidding. So Logan is um, the son of one of my dear friends, Amber Kerber. Hello. And supposedly he just got proposed to the other day in school. Wait, was it Logan or was it your? Oh, my goodness. OK. Oh, David, I would love to hear more about um, the theater trip you had. OK, so anyway, hi, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name's Ginger. As you guys know that the channel we like to call just Ginger, where we like to focus on anything and everything we can Disney related, whether it be shopping, whether it be hauls, um, subscription box opening. Let's see, hauls, box swaps. We like to go to the park when we're allowed and when I'm physically able. Long story, don't worry. But I will get back to the parks eventually. Yes, I will. Anyway, you guys, thanks so much for joining me today. We're just calling this a chill in a chat or chill chat or I don't know what we're calling. We're just maybe getting together on a Saturday morning, having your beverage of choice, whether it be coffee, if you're here on the West Coast, if you're on the East Coast, maybe you're drinking a little cocktail at this point, or maybe you're just having some lemonade. Anyway, so again, if ever, oh, it was Rowan who got proposed to. And Rowan is what, five? Sorry, Logan, didn't mean to. Samantha says she'll be back on schedule Monday. Samantha, does that mean you'll be working at your job come Monday? All right. So anyway, you guys, um, what I wanna talk about here, hey, Jason, are you here? Hey, Kathleen, how are you doing? Kathleen, give me a thumbs up. Kathleen Murkovich Robinson. Okay, so if I'm going to ask a question here. How many of you guys get subscription boxes? If you could just go down, give me a thumbs up if you're one that receives a subscription box, because I want to talk about subscription boxes. Hello, Facebook user. Can you type your name in? Because it just says Facebook user, and it doesn't show me. And I apologize for that. Hello, my dear. Hello, Ke <laughs> Kelly's crazy Disney addiction. So it seems like Amy Neely is the only one here who gets subscription Andy, boxes. David. Oh, sorry. There we go. Andy, uh, Dustin, you will be getting one soon. David, thank you guys so much um, for giving me that. Let's see here. So I, my husband just printed me off some paperwork here because I'm going to talk about the various subscription boxes that are out there. Um, for me, I get four. I get Bibbidi Boxes. Yay, Bibbidi. I also get Mickey Lou. Hey, guys. And then I get Main Street Mail, which that's a little weird for me, but I, I enjoy getting it, as well as I get Magic at Your Door. Now, for me, as you guys know, I just opened a box the other day, and I was, I'm sorry. Hi, Logan. I don't know what I think, but okay. Hey, Jason. Thinks so maybe they get a box. Logan, do you guys get a subscription box? I don't know. I'm assuming, Amber, is that you or is Logan really chatting with me? Anyway, so let's talk subscription boxes. And I want this to be like an open dialogue. I realize I'm the only one that actually speaks. But I have my sister here monitoring. Um, and I'm watching the um, comments as best I can. And I really want to hear your guys' feedback. This is not to bash anyone. We are not here to badmouth any company. If you have something that's negative to say. It is Logan. Hey, Logan. 
hey buddy how you doing my sister just said logan just answered it's really him so logan what are you like eight nine ten how old are you now logan okay so anyway you guys let's talk subscription boxes again i don't want any bashing here okay no bashing if you have something negative you want to communicate with me please feel free to contact me by myself okay. but uh, Logan's 10. Logan's 10. Man, oh my gosh. I have pictures of you, Logan, as a kid. Anyway, so um, I want to talk about good stuff about the boxes. I mean, we might, you know, say, oh, this happened to me, but we're not here to bash any box. Okay. So, first and foremost, oh, yay, Logan, you just finished your last day of school. Summertime, summertime. Uh, elementary. What grade are you going into, Logan? Okay, so first and foremost, let's talk about Bippity. I'm sorry, you guys, I don't know how to do graphics and stuff like that um, on my computer. So if there's anybody who knows how to do that and really wants to give me a course, um, I thought my husband, no, I know my husband's a little more tech savvy than I am. Um, I just... I can't seem to get graphics, maybe eventually. Okay, so Bippity Box, as you know, they have like, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes, I believe it is, ranging in price from $119 all the way down to uh, $99, which is the little sparkle box. Yeah, sparkle box, you get stickers. Um, the next box up, oh my gosh, I can't remember what the next box up is. Hey, Facebook user, love my ears. They kind of match my shirt, little, little, um, anyway, so I want to talk about this, these boxes. They are what they are. They are subscription boxes. You actually have to put a little bit of work into these, meaning like when you set up your subscription, they will give you a list, a very long, lengthy list of things that you need to fill in. Like, do you want plushies? No. You know, and things you like and things you dislike. There's even a place I do believe, at least that's what I do now. I am able to put in everything I own. My husband and I sat here last weekend and it didn't take us long. We um, inventoried every gym shore you see back here and we inventoried every bag. And I, oh, David Felton, the sparkle box is $19.99, which is two pins. Uh, what is that one? That's the, the stickers. Bling box. Wait. I thought the spark anyway samantha if you're here can you help me out with that i think the sparkle box was 9.99 with stickers or nine bucks and the bling box had the pins i don't know if anybody wants to help me out with that nice example there ginger no plushies okay so back to what i was talking about you have to fill out preferences um and if you don't do that it doesn't give the company the box company whatever Company you're working with uh, an idea what you like and just because you filled it out a year ago speaking personally here um, just because you filled it out a year ago doesn't mean your preferences are still current today example six seven months ago I filled out my preferences or updated my preferences from Bippity and I apparently I marked Star Wars I mean, Star Wars is cool and all, but it's not my jam. Um, I think I would have rather marked Avengers, but whatever. And you guys know from my last box, I got a Star Wars wallet. Where's it at? It's here somewhere. Anyway, and I kind of was like, what? I was very um, taken aback. But I immediately when I was done here, I went and looked and I saw that Star Wars was marked on my preference. So in fact, Bippity followed my subs my subscription my preferences and the what the box stands for now i get the uh, 119 box which is called the ultimate magic box and in there in there you're um it's supposed to include a range of disney items from lounge fly to disney parks exclusive items you get at least one designer item anywhere from like 3 to 5 items it's customizable so for me and again, I'm just speaking of me and please, you guys be very, very sweet. Um, no bad things. Anyway, I marked that I liked the girly girl tumblers, you know, and sometimes they put out very specific ones, but I said, I don't care as long as it sparkles. So look what I got. It sparkles. 
they filled my bill. Um, I said, I don't want like kitchen items and they've never given me one. I marked that I liked Star Wars. I got a Star Wars wallet. I marked that I liked ears and I have not inventoried my ears because that's just a lot. Um, but I got duplicates on my ears and their ears. They're great giveaway items. And then what was my other item? Hell, oh, my wishes candle. I did mark that I like wishes candle. So my box was curated and it had all those items in it. It marked every item. It filled the box as it should have been. I got a lounge fly. I got um, custom creation by girly girls and wishes. And I got a parks item. They filled it. Um, was I a little bummed? Yeah, because I got Star Wars. But what I didn't read because I you guys know when you get the spoiler sheet, it has all the items right there and it gives you the price and you read who you wrote it from. I read that, moved on, did not even look any further at my spoiler sheet. But at the bottom of my spoiler sheet, and um, she had to tell me this herself, Amanda wrote me a little note that I didn't see when opening the boxes. Sorry, I just heard my own voice somewhere. Anyway, and it said, Ginger, we see that you have marked that you like Star Wars items. We have included this Star Wars wallet. If it's not your, paraphrasing, if it's not your jam, give us, let us know. We'll figure something out. But it was my fault that I didn't update my preferences. So I'm keeping this Star Wars wallet and I'm probably going to use it as a giveaway as well. Um, I figure I pay for these boxes. If I use items as a giveaway, I paid for them. You know, it's not like I'm, re-gifting or anything like that. So again, let's talk Bitly and that they have, what is it? The um, one, two, three, four, five boxes, excluding the two, the two smaller boxes, the bling and the sparkle boxes. You have the ultimate magic box, which is at 119. Um, who gets the ultimate magic box? You guys want to, Hey Sarah. Hi. If you guys want to um, give me a thumbs up, if you get Bippity. Give a shout out to Logan going, yeah, but he said fifth grade. Logan, you're going into the fifth grade or did you just graduate the fifth grade? Logan, Logan. Hey, can every Logan, oh gosh, I've known this kid since his birth. Oh, Logan, I could tell you stories about a fart machine, my friend. Anyway, if everyone could go give Logan a big high five and all that stuff. Um, oh, Logan's going into the fifth grade. Okay, so thanks, Logan. You're a doll face. Um, anyway, so Ultimate Magic Box. I love getting them. I have considered dropping down to the $99 box, which is the Imagination Box, and potentially buying another smaller box just so I could have a couple of different things to show off and maybe get an Avengers box or a Marvel box, and then maybe get a Harry Potter box just to show you guys what they all have there. Um, APS, Oh my goodness. Anyway, they're complimenting. Oh my gosh. Um, goodness gracious. A P E S Y A P E Yes. I don't know how to say your name. Can I just call you AP? Oh look, Samantha's fart machine. Logan was a little little kid and we were playing with a fart machine in a restaurant and belly laughing. Anyway, Logan, do you remember that? Oh, yeah, you guys, don't forget, go down there. Um, if you're watching on your phone or device, make sure you hit that little X right there. If you go out, so you hit the little X right there, and you hit that like button, right? Oh, oh no, I just gave myself an unlike. Okay, so you hit that like button, and if you want to come back to the live chat, you just hit the live chat button right there in the middle, and look, you're back. So go smash that like. Thanks, Thank you, guys. Hi, Amy. Did, it, did Logan just say hit that like? He did. Okay. So um, let's see. I They also have the Imagination Box, which I told you was um, $99. And let's see. It's, it's curated to your preferences, three to five items, number based on the value. You also have a choice of saying whether you want quality items like a lounge fly, a gym shore, over quantity. Now, sometimes it's fun to say, give me $120 worth of smaller items. I don't want $120 worth of smaller items. That's why I try to go a little bit um, quality over quantity. They also have the fantasy box, which is $59. And that one includes three to five items as well. Um, again, depending on the value of the items that are in there. I have been known to get 
the two items, no, three items, I think. One time I got a huge gym short. No, I think a couple times. But you know, you guys, it depends on how pricey or how the cost of the actual items they're putting in your bag. Does anybody do uh, quantity over quality? David, you usually do. Okay, Samantha, I will send you a fart machine, okay? You're not interrupting, friend. I will send you a fart machine. But you have to take it to work with you. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Logan, do you get these subscription boxes? He's saying same. I know. Oh my God. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just reading some of the comments. I'm wondering if Logan actually gets these boxes. Amy says one item is sad though. Um, one item is sad. And I don't think I've ever just gotten one item, but you know, if I got an item that was valued at like 150 bucks and like an ink pen or not 150 bucks, but Logan okay, Logan, we're, we're going to talk to your mom. Okay. Anyway, so I believe Bippity is a wonderful company. I hear people out there kind of say, oh, but I only got two items. Okay, well, what were the value of your items and what have you marked in your preferences? One thing with Bippity is um, they will they offer a service and you have to contact them. There's this email you could go down, get on their website down in the corner. There's like a little um, question mark in a mint green color. I think if you go there and just shoot them a quick little email, they will actually have a one on one session with you alone, just you and you, you and them via the phone. And they will work with you to get your princes dialed in so that you will get the best out of your box. So if you guys are getting a box and you're feeling a little, wah, wah, we'll tell you what, um, reach out to Bippity, or if you guys want to reach out to me, I will do my best to get more information on that. Um, but again, you guys, they offer this service and it is amazing. And if you're feeling that your boxes are less than desire, whoa, hit the table. If you're feeling your boxes are a little less than desirable, figure out why. Call the ladies, not call the ladies, but get in touch with the ladies at Bippity um, and just let them know you'd like some help focusing in and really making your preferences to, well, okay, making your preferences nailed in, dialed in so they can make you the most amazing box ever, okay? The preference calls, oh yeah, so David Felton, he's in here, he did that once, so what was it, last fall? And I think actually he and I actually talked about that, um, that they offer that service. I think that is a wonderful service. I'm not sure if other boxes could do that, but I have not had issues with my boxes. Let's see, Logan, soccer game soon, okay. Okay, I'm reading this here. I, if I got a box with one huge gym show, I don't, um, let's see. So Michelle, if you got a box with a huge gym shore in it, you would love it, right? I mean, we're talking the big ones. All right. Uh, let's see. You don't, AP, don't get subscriptions. Let me cut here. Yeah. I don't get subscription boxes, but I have purchased quite a bit of Karen's mystery boxes. Okay. From Enchanted Mysteries. I would love to get one of those beautiful girly girl tumblers. AP, if you could send me a message, I would really like to talk to you about that. But yes, please um, contact me. Just Ginger at just Ginger1234 at gmail.com. You can find me on Facebook at Facebook and uh, just Ginger and friends on Facebook. Or you can find me on Instagram, just Ginger, two G's right in the middle there. And um, send, me an e send me a message. I would love to chat with you, okay? Girly girl creations are kind of hard to come by. Unless, anyway, all right. Oh, Amy, you would love a girly girl creation? And I don't know, Gina went, duh. What does that mean, sister? Because Michelle said, duh. Oh, Michelle said, duh. Okay, so let me just take a drink. One huge, I think, the yeah, answer the one huge. Drink. Lord, have I missed that drink. All right, so we talked about the three boxes, ultimate magic box, the imagination box, the fantasy box. Um. Anyway. Fantasy box, and they also have a wishes box, which is perfect for all Disney lovers. Um, again, three to five items based on their value. And Logan, if you're here, you might want to ask your mom if she can maybe get you a Marvel or Star Wars wishes box from Bippity. Um, I think you would love it. Let me know. 
if you want something like that and I'll talk to your mom and maybe I can work on getting you a discount somewhere. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm, I'm not. Hey, Vicki, he's Tigger Tails. Will you tell Samantha what the fart machine is? Okay, sorry. Samantha, everybody, let's take a little time out because I want to explain what a fart machine is. It's this little plastic device that has pre-recorded fart sounds. I cannot believe we're sitting here on a YouTube channel talking about farts, but who cares? It happens, right? So you have this little thing that um, I, oh, I got Logan a remote controlled one. So he could set it like over by his mommy, for example, or Samantha, let's just go ahead and call this. Samantha, you could go set it by one of your sisters, just set it by them. Okay. And then you have this little remote and you push the button and it goes, and it makes fart sounds. And we were doing that in a restaurant. And if you could picture a little boy belly laughing as loud as he could, Everybody looking at it. It was just great. So fart machine is just like a little prank thing. So yeah, Samantha, I might have to send you one. <laughs> uh, Vicky's Tigger Tales. Thank you so much. You're saying what I'm thinking. AP, you can go down there and read what Vicky's Tigger Tales just posted. But I, I won't say anything there because girly girl creations are awesome. As well as Lisa Pavlis. Okay, so um, again, we talked about the... Uh, what is that called again? The ultimate magic box, the imagination box, the fantasy box, the wishes box, and then the dreams box. And then again, don't forget they have the bling box and the spark box. One's 20 bucks, one's 10 bucks. I don't know which is which, but one holds all kinds of stickers. One holds stickers and maybe like a magnet or a pen or something, or just pens. Anyway, you guys, I just wanted to, again, talk about the boxes. You have to put in the work too. Um, if you shop a lot, like me if you shop a lot and for example I just bought that when I say I my husband bought them for me but we just bought those ears that I got in the box probably like a month before so um you got to be careful when you're a shopaholic and you buy stuff that could potentially be in a box so that is another thing one needs to consider when um you know when you're shopping at home, Bippity, Magic at Your Door, Mickey Loot, Main Street Mail, all those subscription boxes, they don't know what you've bought yourself. So a lot of people say, um, Lisa Platt Pavlis is from Idaho. Idaho. Yeah. Anyway, contact me and I'll tell you about her too, okay? Um, yeah, she makes, I don't have, I have a couple of her mugs. I don't have them with me right now. And my sister doesn't have hers either. I'll go grab it. Gina's, can you grab mine off the counter too, sister? Okay. You don't have yours? She didn't bring her Lisa Pavlis mug. She took my shoe off. Shoe off. Lisa is on Insta too. Um, okay. So this is a Lisa Pavlis design. Now she made this for me. Oh, no. Yeah. She just took some... Um, images off my my YouTube channel like you guys will see this on the head like if you open up me on YouTube you'll see this as my header and it says just ginger and it's got me right there with my little camera and a little castle right there this artwork was done oh my gosh girl I forget your name but it was from a young lady back in I will totally you are a subscriber I'm a terrible friend right now. Anyway, um, she did some shoes for my husband last year. She does great artwork. So she drew all these up for me. And then she just added some of my like Facebook. Here's my handle or whatever you want to call it. Just Ginger and Friends. Instagram, Just Ginger. And she didn't put my email and that's okay. You know, anyway, she makes these wonderful sparkly mugs, different sizes, different, whatever you want to call it. So there you go. I'm kind of all over the board. Is everybody doing okay with the way I'm talking and how I'm balancing back and forth? Okay. If you guys are okay, give us a thumbs up. You guys, we have 20 people in here. I do appreciate it. Okay. So we've talked about Bippity and I'm, I'm not saying we can't ever come talk about them again, but I'm just going to set my, my Bippity papers aside. And again, one of these days, y'all, I'll figure out how to get graphics on here. Thumbs up, Ginger. Hey, you guys, did everybody go hit the like button? I'm gonna go peek right now. 
Logan let's go 20 he wants more he wants some more thumbs up you want some more okay Logan says let's go 20 and I only see three likes there one of one of which is mine y'all get in there and you need There's to smash 16. huh There's 16 right 16 now. what likes oh okay then but everybody give us a thumbs up go give us a like yeah smash that like button Kelly only sees seven but I see 16 okay well yay you guys you don't you don't even understand how much I appreciate you, each and every one of you. We hit a thousand. I wish I knew each and every one of you personally. Um, if you think that um, you might want to be like, I don't want to say personal friends, but like reach out to me. I love to chat with my viewers or subscribers. You know, I even like to call them friends as it is right now. I've got a core group of people. I'd say about nine people who I have been friends with since kind of, I started this and I love you all. You know who you are. All right. So let's talk about another subscription box, Mickey Loot. Um, honestly, I don't know how long they've been around. So I guess Logan must have a channel because he said, let me give a shout out, give you a shout out on my channel. Logan, do you have a channel? Give yourself a shout out. Logan, what is the name of your channel? He said, be right back. Oh, my Lanta. Hey, Jason. He just said, hi, Samantha. Okay. Anyway, you guys, let's talk about Mickey Loot. They're kind of a newer, um, probably within the last seven, eight months. I don't know when they started. Um, I wish I could ask them. I did not do enough research. Um, but again, with Mickey Loot, you guys, uh, it's also a preference thing. You know, um, if you order, let's say one of their fancy boxes and you say, I want, I don't know, let's pick Toy Story. I'm just, I picked that out of the air. Toy Story. If you wanted a Toy Story box, they will go and they will commission things. Oh my gosh, Logan Kerber. Can I, well, Logan. I just subscribed, but there you go. Okay, let me, my sister's handing me her phone. Okay, Logan Kerber has three subscribers right now. Four now. I've been Four now. <gasps> Logan, I am going to go subscribe to you. Everybody, go subscribe to Logan. Logan Kerber. L Logan, write out your name here for us. Or Gina, can you type out Logan's name? I will. He's a little kid. He's, no, he's 10. He's 10. He's a um, little kid. Begin. Logan, you made a vid for me? Are we going to be like YouTube pals now? Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys are so awesome. I I, I kind of want to feel like I want to cry right now. No, no crying. Okay, tell your mom I said hi. And um, Samantha, she said she has to go because she... Um, her mom just came in the door. So, um, Mama Mama B, I'm so sorry you missed our little chat about Bippity, but we're talking about boxes here. So, hey, Mama B. Okay. Anyway, so let's go on. I'm sorry. Now we're moving on to Mickey Luke. They have free. I love Logan. Free. <laughs> free. He, he gave you did a bit. That's awesome, Logan. You Logan, are an amazing he, kid. Logan, yeah, I'm, yay! Uh, okay, so AP. So um, yes, Mickey Loot ships anywhere in the world. So if you want a subscription box and you're from Canada, which maybe I think you are because you put a little Canada flag next to your comment. Um, so yeah, you can order, you know, if you want a subscription box, you can get it from Mickey Luch sent up to Canada. I see they have subscribers and, um, and they have subscribers, subscription box subscribers over in Australia. So, you know, go look at Mickey Loot and look at some of the videos there. I think they're starting to get worldwide, worldwide recognition and you'll start seeing some more boxes outside of the United States. Anyway, so Mickey Loot, uh, again, I'm newer to them, you know, uh, not as familiar with them as I am with Bippity, but um, I'm getting familiar with them. So let's see. Mickey Lou runs off the old school ticket rides. Like back in when Disneyland started, you could buy books. And I have a book of them here somewhere. Books, tickets. And they would come A, B, C, D, and E tickets. E tickets were like the bomb. Okay, I totally just went there, right? E ticket rides were like the big mamma jammas. If you were to use an E ticket ride right now, I would assume it would be like all of the Star Wars rides. 
um, Pandora rides if you were back, but they don't. Now it's just everything. But then they would have the A ticket, which is like maybe like a little um, Peter Pan ride or something. Again, everything has changed. So A ticket for Mickey Loot is a forty doll is forty dollars a month. Again, free shipping. Um, and it's like mystery stuff. You contains two items. It's customizable, and they go to the parks and they will curate things for you. But if you don't put preferences and you order a $40 box, they're going to walk and be like, okay, what do I get ginger? And they'll, you know, just, so you guys have to put the work in and you really have to put your preferences. If you don't do that, they don't know what to get you. Oh, uh, Tamajama. No, Mickey Loot is not in Canada, but they will ship to Canada. They're from Florida. Yeah, she knows. She said earlier that they just shipping is too much. Oh, okay. So it says right here, Mickey Loot is Canadian. Mm -hmm. Oh, crazy. She misses her boxes. Amy said they need to expand the preferences. So Amy um, says that they're very limited. And now are you talking about all subscription boxes? Um, but they're very limited and they need to expand their preferences. Can you please give me some examples? Man, I wish you were live with me right now. Um, Bring her in. Uh, you don't know how to do that. I could, but she might be in her pajamas. She might, you know, oh. I, I don't want to put That's people good. on the spot. Okay. So they also have a B ticket box, which is one I get, and it's $75 a month. Um, I, it's like twice as much as the $40 one, meaning like twice the content or whatever. But it, oh my gosh, you guys, it's curated to you, but you got to put your preferences in. My top was four. Logan, you're at eight subs. High five, my friend. Woo -hoo! All right. Mickey Lute's preferences are very short. Well, why don't you either A, shoot me an email about what you meant, and maybe we can make suggestions, you know, because Disney Connection. Ticket books started in October of 55. D tickets were added in 56, and the E ticket were added in 59. Thanks. Um, everyone go sub to Logan. Oh, goodness gracious. David Felton, they're working. Okay, let's see. Working on better preferences. Yeah, they're working on better preferences on their Mickey loot boxes. They are trying a new system out in their Potter loot boxes. And they're going to get a lot more detailed soon. Oh, my Lanta. Look at you, Mel. Jason says, look at you, Mel, being all smarty pants with this. She awesome. Knows, she knows that she knows the beats. Yeah, uh, she knows the details. She could probably sit there real quick and look it up. She's good like that. Anyway, so uh, Mickey Loot, they have their A ticket box, their B ticket box, C ticket box, which is $150. Um, it says it contains six to eight items. I, I like research. Oh, Disney Connections. Can I just give you some information? You know. Anyway, so um, then they also go up to the D ticket box, which is two hundred dollar bills. Um, maybe when Christmas rolls around, Jason, you know. Okay. He likes research too. Hey, oh hey. my land to you guys! And then they go all the way up to the E ticket. The E ticket ride. The E ticket subscription box is three bills, three hundred dollars. Actually, Jason, if you're listening to me, Jason. When Christmas rolls around, e-ticket boxes. Wouldn't that be amazing? Like, remember last year I got the Magic at Your Door uh, Christmas box? It would be awesome if I got a Christmas box from all of them. Anyway. Okay. Everybody loves everybody here, right here. Nobody's bashing. I, I know you guys aren't. You guys all love subscription boxes like I do. Um, I didn't, wasn't able to pick um, information from the Magic at Your Door boxes because they do, I think, like a gold subscription box. And that one is $129. And then they do these various other specialty boxes. And I couldn't get them to print off with, with, um, on form. It was, it just wasn't allowing me to copy and paste and stuff that. And when I say me, I mean, Jason, um, cause I gave up real quick anyway. Um, so definitely magic at your door. They also have a preference list. 
it's Magic Mike and 001 who curate the boxes. Those guys must be busy. Are they called limited boxes? Amy does limited boxes. And that's probably what they do. Um, oh, Instead wait. Monthlies. Oh, Amy, no, she does. Uh, I don't know. She just, Amy, you probably pick them out when you want them, right? Hey, Sal, if you're in here, I missed your comment. Good morning, everyone. Oh, my gosh, you guys, I'm looking forward to a Potter loot. My husband is a Potter fan. I like Harry Potter, but I didn't want to get like a full box. If they're going to do like, I mean, like I didn't want to get like a $120 Potter box. That's why I said I might drop down so I can get another smaller box from a different fandom. I might do the same thing with Mickey Loot. I wish I could do it with Magic at Your Door, but they don't have that kind of thing. Um, I will look more into it. Hey, Ginger, Amber says, hi, that is Logan's mommy. Amber, we need to talk. Your son needs to get on one of these subscription boxes. They have Harry Potter boxes. Just saying. Just saying. Anyway. Hey, Sal. Hey, David, you're still there. Um, you do the same with Mickey Lou. What do you mean, David? You do the same with Mickey Lou. Limited edition boxes. Now, when you say limited edition, do you mean like they're one-time boxes? Because I did that. I ordered, um, in April, I ordered a castle box and the regular subscription box. So still waiting. And that's okay. Because I know it takes time to curate these things, you know. So I don't know. Anyway. Oh, let's see. Kelly's Crazy Disney Addictions. Let's see. Why isn't it popping up? It says... I myself, I myself, and this is my own opinion, prefer magic at you. Okay, well, it's your opinion, of course. Um, maybe give Mickey Loot a shot. And of course, you know, uh, look into the other fandoms of, God, I just took Bippity Boxes. Because, you know, who knows? You might get something wonderful from Star Wars. I know you like Star Wars. Have you tried one of their Star Wars boxes? And you can even go a little bit lower and just get the, um, what was it called? The Wishes Box. Amy gets the Sorcerer Box, Small World, and Epcot. That that is what you have gotten from um, Amy. That's what you have gotten from Mickey Lou. Okay, I don't have a lot of information on Main Street Mail because, frankly, I don't know if I've ever really updated a preference. Um, they had a good run of bad luck there for a little while with you know some issues in their family and stuff, but recently uh, my boxes have been you know pretty good. So. Vicky's waiting on a Tiana in the small, small world. Oh, Tiana. So I, I missed the small world, you guys. I wish I would have got that. I'm hoping they come out and they said they were thinking about it with a Tower of Terror. That would be a grail box for me. And let's not forget Mel's uh, Alice box. and her. Oh, yeah. And Melanie over at Disney Connections, once in a while, she'll throw it out, out an idea for a box. But it's not like she's a box company. And Mel, I'm not bagging on you. Um, but... She is not a box company, and I don't want her to feel overwhelmed talking about this. She has curated um, two sets of, not two sets, two times she's curated boxes. Once was Alice Box, and I think you sold like five or six of those. And now you did the Disneyland one, and girl, you are going off the charts on that one. So I don't want to overwhelm you, but, you know, Mel at Disney Connections, uh, yeah. They said they don't want to they want to find the Tower of Terror ears before they do a box. Yeah, please find those Tower of Terror ears. You guys, Grail. Grail. I love that ride more than I don't know. I kind of like the ride. Last time, well, the only time Gina and I went to Walt Disney World, we rode it, what was it, three times in a row? Yeah, bam. Damn. I mean, like, Damn. literally, got on, went and got in the line, got on, went and got in the line. And we didn't have to wait that long. And you guys, no. Tower of Terror is so fun. Okay, um, Michelle, I'm sorry here. I know that you um, hate that ride. I apologize. So people are asking Mel to do a mini box and a Marvel box. Okay. Amy Mel, that's a small world for Joseph, she said. Amy, you got the small world for Joseph? Okay, Michelle, we won't talk about the Tower of Terror anymore. Anyway, I love it. I even love down um, in Disneyland how it was um, Guardians of the Gal Guardians of the Galaxy, and now it's called Operation Breakout or something like that. And did you guys know that you have to have like a pass 
I think, I think this is what I understand. You have to have a pass to get into Avengers Campus. So you may not even be granted entry into Avengers hey, Campus. Hey, is my mom here? Yeah. Where's he mom? Said, I'm proud of Logan. Oh. Her name had good memories. Sorry, Ginger, it's your show, but... Logan is amazing. He is just one smart little kiddo. So I will promote Logan till I'm blue in the face. And you guys, there's another kid I do want to promote. Promote. Um, oh my gosh. Andy? No, well, Andy, but um, more George. Oh, in the UK? In the UK. More George is just a sweetheart. Um, uh, so I've got two young YouTubers here. We've got Logan, we've got Andy, and we've also got more George. So you guys, if you have a, a young and they want to shout out, come to me. I'll let you know. Okay, so Gar it's called Guardians Galaxy Mission Breakout. It is now part of the Avengers campus. I would be so bummed that if I went there just to go, you know, and I didn't get a pass to Avengers campus because Guardians of the Galaxy, that ride is my jam. And if I can't access it all the time, I would be bummed. So, I mean, that is a ride that I would go on like over and over. And, over. and I think I did a couple times by myself because nobody else wanted to ride it with me. So, okay. Let's say new comments here. So does anybody have questions about a subscription <laughs> box? Gina, you're laughing. What's laughing? Joseph told me yesterday he wants to get 100,000 subscribers on my non-existent YouTube channel. That was Amy. Oh, well, Joseph, in time. Okay. Oops, amazing. Okay. That was me. To, to Logan. Okay. All right. So you guys, anybody have any questions that I might be able to answer regarding subscription boxes? The reason I really wanted to do this um, in the past, I have seen people get boxes. They get an item. It could be a high ticket item. And then they say, it's not what I wanted. Well, if you want something specific, you guys, there are personal shoppers out there. Um, you, it's a subscription box. It is a mystery box. Um, Mel, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to talk about you guys right now. They got a box that they weren't exactly thrilled with recently here. But like Mel said in her video, it filled all the boxes, if that makes sense. You know, um, she and I pretty much got like a similar box. I just get the $120 box. So she got a tumbler. She got a wishes candle. She got a keychain, which by the way, Mel, I love that keychain. Okay. Um, so, but I saw a um, subscriber one time, I won't mention any names or anything like that, but they literally had an item that they said they didn't like. And it wasn't very kind because it fit the bill. It checked the boxes. And if you wanted something specific, you need to then go hire a personal shopper. They're everywhere out there. Am I being mean? I, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just trying to enlighten people that if you get a box, be grateful or be happy because you got a box. Um, don't, don't bash them, you know, check your preferences, figure things out. Um, I'd like to say I can help you, but I can't help you. <laughs> but again, Update your preferences. Mickey Loot, they're really good about listening to you. They're very good about um, contacting, being in contact with you, as is Bippity. Bippity, um, like, you know, they knew I wasn't really going to be a fan of that Star Wars wallet, but it fit the bill. It checked the boxes. So I'm keeping it. One of you guys are going to be a winner here eventually sometime, not today. Um, and let's and they, see. They did leave you a note in your box. Yeah, and they did leave me a note saying, hey, gee. Did you really want Star Wars? Because, you know, so they pay attention. Mickey Lou pays attention. And then Magic Mike over at Magic at Your Door, they're really good too. And their preference sheet is very specific. And they do, I feel, on their preference sheet slash wish list, they do, or should I say wish list, they do um, a little more lounge fly than I think any other subscription, Magic at Your Door. Um, so thank you guys for doing that. I do know that Magic at Your Door and Bippity both have wish lists that pop up every month and you want to get in there and you want to fulfill wishes. I mean, you're not going to get everything on your wish list, but that at least gives them a direction. Say, hey, you know, Ginger wanted 
just Ginger wanted a sparkly mug. Well, let's see, which one did she want? She didn't specify. She just said she wanted, she wants it sparkly. Guess what I got? Sparkles. So, you know, um, if you write to them and say, hey, I want the ice cream cone looking sparkle mug. Well, they only have so many made because these are made by Girly Girl Creations and they're made specifically for Bippity. You cannot buy those anywhere, the specific ones. And they're made for them and they only have so many made. And so if a hundred people mark that they want that ice cream cone sparkle mug, I don't know if they have one, I'm just using for example, and they only had 50 made, they're just gonna, you know, you may not get it. And don't be upset if you don't. Um, if you want a girly girl creations and you're not very specific or picky. I got my sparkles. So Amy said magic at your door only does lounge fly if you request it. So if you don't want lounge fly, you're good. Exactly. Amy said they will only do lounge fly if you put it on your wish list. And they have a bigger selection of lounge fly than I think any other. I'd have to compare it to because the only other wish list out there is Bippity. And Bippity doesn't have as many wish list items. But of course, um, Magic at Your Door also has a small shop that you can go purchase lounge flies and stuff through. And I do know that Bippity also has a small shop, but they don't have the vast amount of lounge flies that you can pick from. So um, again, both boxes have their their wish lists. I don't want to say a con about anyone because all of them are good, you guys. And it is what it is. It's a sub subscription box. You pay a little money, somebody gives you surprises. Do you remember when I got that um, spiral notebook from Magic at your door? And it was like 20 bucks. And I'm like, I wouldn't pay for that. Because when I go to the parks, I like to hoard my money and wait for that amazing item. But I will sit there and look at every journal, every pen. And my sister could probably attest to that. But I will look at it and I will go, Ooh, I want this. I want this. But I'll save my 20 bucks to buy. even walk through the store with it in your hand. Yeah, I will walk through the store with them in my cart or my hand and not buy them because it is a journal. But <laughs> subscription boxes, they will get them for me. And I feel like a kid in a candy store. I feel like I just got a big old present from Santa when I get a little journal. Sparkles are for winners. Who just said that? Sparkles are for winners. Kelly. And a winner. Anyway, it's a commercial. Sparkles are for winners. <gasps> oh, yes. I can't remember what that's for. Anyway. Oh, my God. So mean. Jason, aren't you, Ginger? Okay. I'm so confused. I think they were. Jason said, don't tell Ginger about personal shoppers. Please, LOL. And then Tama said, Jason, aren't you Ginger's? <laughs> Okay, so by the way, I made a very long Gymshore wish list yesterday, thanks to Amy, um, Super Sleuth, and my friend Michelle. We everybody's were... everybody's on the Jason's your personal shopper. Yeah. Saying? Well, it has to be you guys. Let's just be honest. I don't shop on the computer. So I say, husband, I want this, or husband, I want these things. I call him husband or Jason, you know, but um, sometimes I get them, sometimes I don't, just like a subscription box, I guess. Um, anyway, so you guys, again, I just wanted to get on here and talk about what a subscription box is. It's items you may not necessarily buy yourself when you're at a park or when you're at a store. These young ladies and gentlemen spend time reading through your preferences and they curate boxes to what you have marked. Do they make mistakes and maybe include an additional plushie that maybe you said you don't want anymore or they give you pins when you say you don't collect pins? You know what? People, we're human. Everybody's human. We make little mistakes. And if they're going through real fast, curating this box from their shelves and they see a pin that says, oh my gosh, this one, this one is just ginger. And they throw it in and they box it all up. And I go, I don't get a pin. I don't do that. I'm grateful. I'm happy because I wouldn't buy a pin in the show, in the park for me. Logan's mom's bag. <laughs> Logan's mom's bag. Hey, Amber. All right. So let's see here. Have we taken up an hour? I don't know. No, not yet. So, okay. What do you guys want to talk about? Do you guys want to talk about some uh, Jim Shores? I, I want to do a show coming up here um, about my Jim Shores because while I was doing that bag a day in May, I got some Jim Shores that I haven't got to show you guys yet. Um, I've got to take some time and rearrange everything here. Um, oh, sister. Yes. 
Okay, so my sister, you know how much I love journals. My sister saw this young lady on Facebook. Facebook is one of the Disney channels. One of the Disney Facebook for sale kind of things. Um, hit the like, you guys. Wait. Have you guys not hit the like button yet? Her name's Hillary Anderson. Okay, so my sister got me this journal. Okay, a young lady named Hillary Anderson. She's on the Facebook sites where you can buy from like Disney stuff. Okay, so she made this journal from a legit Cinderella book. It's literally got the hard cover and look, you can see it's all right in there. And each one of the, um, sorry, let me go through here. Tab dividers and stuff has the story on it. Look at that. So let's see. Let's do one more. So you can actually read the book. Okay, that's the journal part. But look at that. Girl, look at that. It's the back side of the book. She just took a book, shredded it, and then put it together. So yay. It's Hillary Anderson. Hillary Anderson. Sister, can you type her name? And you guys can find her on Facebook. I think it is. Yeah, Hillary, I'm so sorry that I'm not uh, more with it. But I thought I saved your packing slip and stuff. I saved a different one to something that, anyway. All right, you guys, let's see. Oh, sister wants that back. She's seen him on, Kelly's seen him on Etsy. Okay, so I did not know that. Okay, so maybe Etsy. My sister saw it there and there. So, Kelly you guys, I have a couple show ideas, but I want to run it by you because, you know, we're all friends now. Um, let's see here. What do you guys think about... Uh, 20 questions. It doesn't have to be 20, but you know, if you guys want to pose questions to me and then one day I can sit here and answer them. Pete's on your show. Pete McDivitt. Pete McDivitt. Are you on my show? What? Hey, Pete. Thank you so much. Um, you're amazing. If you guys don't know, I'm going to be on Pete's show. He has um, Sunday nights. He has a show called, oh my gosh, off the wall. I believe it is. Pete, if I'm wrong, I'm so sorry. But he inter I call it the movers and shakers. Jason, so Jason just put it on there. Thank you, Jason. Oh, Jason put up the Etsy shop for that binder, um, that journal. Anyway, so Pete McDivitt, he does amazing content for Disney creators. He has a platform where he will bring on Disney creators and actually like promote them, chat with them, get them out there in the community. And I'm going to be on his show. I believe it is this Wednesday. Wednesdays he does, um, I think I want to call it, huh? No. Anyway, he does these shows where he brings on smaller shops like me, uh, smaller shops, smaller channels. And the time that he and I started chatting was probably six months ago. And hey, Pete McDivitt. Hey, everyone. So I'm going to be on his show. I think it is this Wednesday at yes. six o'clock. And we're just going to chat. Um, Pete is amazing. He's doing a lot of good for this Disney community. He does. A, he has a lot of people who are what one might call vloggers, or they go to the park and they do live from the park kind of thing. Um, I told him that I would love to do something similar to what he does, but I wanted to bring and focus more on those of us who do stuff more at home. Um, so I would like to start interviewing people here. Um, work in progress. You know, I don't want to jump on any tail coats or coattails and maybe just start learning about other, sh other subscribe subscribers, other channels who mainly just kind of stick at home and bring us Disney home like me. Anyway, so I'll be on his show. Um, oh wait, somebody saying, thank you, Pete. Oh, Pete, you're amazing. You guys, Jason, if you could, I don't know how to do this. You guys, can you go put Pete's address down there? Go over there. And he does shows like almost nightly. He talks about football, baseball. I think you do hockey. But then he has Disney talk. He he has two interview shows where it's like focusing on a... Tell Logan bye. Logan, love you, buddy. Bye. So I am going to be... Ginger is our influencer. I am an influencer, a bad influencer. Meaning like, I will get you hooked on Loungefly. I will get you hooked on Jim Shore. 
you guys don't ever let me start collecting pens, which will go there. So anyway, Pete, thank you so very much for stepping in. You um, you are definitely one who really contributes to this Disney community and I appreciate it. And I look forward to chatting with you on Wednesday. You guys mark your calendar. I will post something so you guys can know to go over there and maybe I'll pull some off Pete's site so I can give you a link to go join up and set a reminder to come watch us on Wednesday night. Okay. Um, Disney oh, Disney Connections posted, I believe, that it's a connection to Pete's channel. I'm not sure. Anyway. Pete's looking forward to it, too. Yay. Yay. Oh, I tried to get on with Pete's show last night, and he was having, like, a lightning storm or a storm, and I just could not hear or see anything. It was, like, so broke up that I just had to eventually leave. Sorry, Pete. Um, Michelle wants to know when is the subscriber box? Launch? Michelle, oh my Lanta. Okay, so as you know, I really love my subscribers. You guys are amazing to me. And I put it out because um, you guys know that um, other shops, why do I keep calling us shops? Other channels, we do box swaps together with themes and stuff like that. And that's a good way to help promote our channel with other channels and whatnot. But I love my subscribers and there's quite a few of you out there who love the box swaps, but you don't have a YouTube channel. So I want to focus on you guys. And I, um, between Amy and Michelle, we got together and we have decided we're going to do what's called a subscriber box swap. And we're going to pull two names out of a hat. We haven't talked about the next one yet. It's going to be in fall and there'll be three of us at a time and we'll box swap and we'll do it live right here. We're going to do it live. And as a matter of fact, coming up on the 19th, which is, is that next Saturday? Um, we're going to do, oh, look, Logan Kerber. <gasps> Logan, you subbed to Pete show. Oh my gosh. Logan, stick with him. Stick with him and stick with me. Okay. Huh? <laughs> what? You put NP. I said, what's NP? Okay. It's all right. Sorry. Okay. Anyway, so what was I just saying? Box swap. Oh, so we're doing a box swap with subscribers. We've got the two other subscribers. We've got, um, I'm trading with Andy. Oh my gosh. Logan, are you doing a live today? Live at 12.50. Okay. Anyway, so you guys, we're doing this wonderful show. So I think it's in a week and we're the 19th. At nine o'clock, we're going to go live and we're going to box swap between myself and two subscribers. Um, I hope you guys can come back and then we're going to announce when the next subscriber box swap will be. So if you guys are, um, no problem. If you guys are maybe into doing a box swap subscribers, um, let me know. We can swap together. We'll put your name in the hat and we'll give you details on next week's shows. But it's the 19th at 9 a.m., and you'll get to sign up for the, um, well, you'll see the swap there and you will then will announce the fall swap. So you guys, if you want to do subscriber swaps, um, stay tuned because I want my subscribers to be happy too. And I do know that we have quite a few Canadian um, subscri subscribers. Yeah, subscriber, quite a few. My gosh, I need coffee. Um, I do know that we have quite a few Canadian viewers. If you guys would like to get together and do a swap within Canada, I would love to host it and put you guys live right here as well. So if that's something you guys want to do, let me know because I know up in Canada, it's really hard to do sort of box swaps with those of us down here because shipping is astronomical right now. So this if that's got to run, see you Wednesday around 645 Eastern Standard Time. Love your energy. Pete, you're amazing right here. Five. Okay. Um, love you, man. Really do. I appreciate you. So you guys, again, Wednesday, Pete. I'll send you a link or link, you know. Thank you, Pete. You're awesome. Okay. Look, everybody went and subscribed to Pete. Did everybody go subscribe to Logan? All right, you guys. Where is our like count now? Did everybody go smash that like button? Yes. Okay. Yep. Hard to do box swaps when you're in Canada. So if you guys want to do a box swap for those that subscribers that are up there in Canada, let me know and we'll try to arrange something and just do it between you. But we'll put you guys live here so you're involved in this show as well, because we're all about subscribers. You guys are my family. I mean, Gina's my family, too. My mom's my family. Bye. But you guys are like my extended family. I love you guys. 
Okay, so as I was saying, future content, um, are you guys interested in uh, get to know Ginger, you know, kind of thing or a question and answer type show? Um, let me know because I don't want to go out there and just say, hey, ask me questions. Um, you can ask anything you want. I will answer anything I want, but I want to do something that you guys are interested in. Okay. So let's see here. What else do you guys want to talk about today? Did I do this show justice? It's nice. Thank you so much for the 10. Logan, you got 10 subs. All right, you guys, we have to be active. Logan, you need <laughs> what? He wrote TS. Yeah, uh, he did that. I think for my benefit, he put it in parentheses. Thank Jason you so said, "Let's do a swap." Okay, Jason, she's in Canada, so um, I'll be happy to do a Canada swap. Jason just said we could. He'll pay for shipping. All right. Okay. Anybody else have any questions, comments, concerns you want to address right now? Feel free to contact me personally. You guys know I'm on Instagram, just ginger j u s t. G G I N G E R. Go ahead and find me on Instagram. You can instant message me there. You can go to our Facebook group, just ginger and friends. And I encourage you guys to do that because sometimes we put things asking you to show us your collection of something. Again, subscribers may not always be YouTubers, but you guys have awesome collections and I'd love to see those. Logan, you're talking like a 10 year old kid, and I don't know what you're saying. I know he's giving me some. Go raid some streamers. It's going to go raid some streams, right? To get them on here, okay? He's going to go get some. Well, Logan, I, I, I don't know how much longer we're going to be on here, but um, how about you and I talk, and maybe we can do a little collab if your mom says it's okay, and we'll do something, okay? Logan, oh my gosh, so many misspells. All right. Michelle, do you see 20 likes? Okay. Did we talk Main Street Mail? We we talked a little bit about Main Street Mail. I did not do my research enough, but I do like Main Street Mail. They're a very quiet little box. But I get good stuff from them. So uh, honestly, I can't remember the last box I got. So I'm going to have to do a little research on that. Um, but yeah, Main Street Mail, love them. So Logan, you're going to recruit people for me? Aw, shucks. Tell them you've got tons of videos. Tell them go. Yeah, go to, okay. By the way, all of you that are here with me, I think I have 13 to 15 subscribers on right now. You guys... Tell your friends and family, you know, my goal is 1,200 subscribers. We're now at 1,031, maybe 32, because maybe Logan subscribed. Um, sorry, must have missed it when Andy called. Maybe. Um, it was a very brief conversation. If you guys have any questions that you want to ask me personally, feel free. Um, I know that you guys have things to do today. I know your time is precious, so I don't really want to keep you, um, but feel free. If you have any content ideas that you want me to address, send them to me. If you guys just want to say hi, get in touch with me. Okay. Um, I want to say to all my thousand subscriber winners, um, sorry if your package hasn't come yet, but there was one from Xander. Your goal. Um, I totally forgot your name. I know you Haley. Um, Anyway, um, your box kind of got lost in mind of my husband shuffle, but it is going out today. All right, you guys. So thank you so much. Um, again, hit me up with any questions you guys might have, even if it's not related about me. You know what I'm saying? I love you guys so much. If we owe anyone a goodie, <laughs> headed to the post office today. Um, thanks for the chit chat, Michelle. Yes. Um, I'm sorry I wasn't more prepared, but I just got frustrated because people badmouth these boxes. These guys are doing great. These boxes, I mean, I'm sorry if, you know, and I'm not bashing anyone. No, no, I'm not. Um, but, you know, we're human. Sometimes things happen, okay? Um, if I've offended anybody today, I apologize. Not my intent at all. I'm not picking on anyone specific except Mel, but I love her and she knows that. 
anyway, you guys, love you guys so much. Thank you so much. Um, remember, whatever you do, do it safely because I need you guys to come back here. And by all means, you guys, do good deeds and please have the courage to be kind to other people. All right. Have the courage to be kind. I love you guys so much. Take care of yourself. And I look forward to hearing from all of you. I best have 10 messages on my Instagram when I get done. I'm just kidding. I love you guys. Ta-ta for now. Logan, thank you for stopping by. I'm going to message you in a minute. Bye, you guys. Love you guys so much. Okay. Let me do this. I'm going to try to turn this off. Okay. Love you guys. Look, see, I have to hit another button. Bye.